And I see that Alex is online. So I've mentioned the Jeff Seven project earlier in the in the introduction. And uh, for those who are involved, I mean, it'll be nice if you can say a few words about the yes. project and how it, uh, what is the synergy with the Solutions Plus uh, project also. Thank you for, for, for having me here. My name is Alex Corona. I'm uh, with UN Environment Sustainable Mobility Unit. I'm actually leading uh, UNIP's electric mobility program. Um, I'm going to say a few words about uh, that global electric mobility program and uh, uh, the inter and how, how Solutions Plus is actually an integral part to this for us and how we uh, sort of uh, uh, explore synergies between um, the projects and the programs we are leading and the projects we are contributing such as Solutions Plus. Um, so first a little overview. Um, UNEP's Global Electric Mobility Program is currently supporting about 50 low and middle income countries um, with about 70 million US dollars in grants and um, in this 50 low and middle income countries, for example, we have the uh, we have the solutions projects where we where we con uh, contributing to. Um, it's funded by the GEF, it's uh, funded by the German Climate Initiative, it's funded by the EU. Um, there are foundations who contribute and there's also a bit of bilateral development aid in the program. Um, it's uh, jointly implemented with a lot of partners. Um, Solutions Plus project is one of these partners, UMI. Um, other partners are Asian Development Bank, EBRD, the International Energy Agency, um, other uh, UN agencies. Um, and of course, we are also sort of reaching out to all the other big uh, programs such as Tumibold or, or SEPRA, or we're working with the CEF Alliance. So a lot of cooperation. Um, I don't think we need to talk about this in, in, in great detail. I think it has been mentioned before. Um, as for Solutions Plus, we are looking at fleet vehicles. We're looking at electric two and three wheelers, electric light duty vehicles and fleets, electric buses. Um, and uh, again, same same approach, basically, how we support countries on the one side, roadmaps and strategies, on the other side, development of policies. Then, of course, um, leveraging financing or, or developing financing mechanisms to develop bigger projects in, in countries. And then, uh, uh, last but not least, pilots and training. This is, of course, an important part of uh, the program and the, the, basically the core of uh, Solutions Plus. Um, <clears throat> so now I think it becomes a bit more interesting uh, because here uh, that next slide is showing uh, the structure of our global program. Um, and uh, where we sort of see uh, or have already exercising synergies with UMI since uh, longer than Solutions Plus, but with Solutions Plus now since uh, January 2020. So on the on most important at the bottom, are of course, all these country projects. Um, then uh, what uh, we uh, now have established with uh, support of the Jeff is um, so-called um, regional support and investment platforms. There's one in Africa um, headed by us, one in Asia headed by ADB, one in Central and Eastern Europe, West Asia, Middle East. This is EBRD and one in Latin America and the Caribbean, which is shared with uh, Central Mario Molina, Chile and UNEP. And really these uh, regional support and investment platforms um, will be the place to, on the one side, build regional communities of practice, and on the other side, um, build an e-mobility e market. And we're going to talk about this in uh, in a few seconds in a bit, bit more detail. Um, on top of this, we have some sort of global component. That global component has two parts. One is uh, the setting up of four global working groups, one on electric light duty vehicles, one in electric two and three wheelers, one in electric heat uh, heavy duty vehicles, and one on charging infrastructure, grid integration and batteries. Um, and uh, uh, again, the, the partners uh, from Solutions Plus Consortium, the, the, some of them will play, a, will play a crucial role here. Others are invited to join the wider working group. The idea is again, um, support countries through knowledge products, um, through analytical tools. Um, uh, and uh, here again, big synergies with uh, Solutions Plus, which uh, had spent so much effort on uh, developing an electric uh, e-mobility toolbox, online toolbox, which is going to be launched soon. And yes, now this toolbox will also be populated 
from our side with all the chef country uh, expertise, with all the knowledge products we are developing in the working groups. And then uh, at the highest level, we have uh, we, 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 we sort of see these working groups to contribute uh, to global advocacy, basically bringing uh, bringing the theme of uh, electric mobility in low and middle income countries really on the on the on the top of the agenda. And I believe COP26 uh, will be helpful in this regard. Um, this is just an overview about all the country project, the country projects we're currently involved with or which we are leading. Um, so there's um, there's two two areas. So Africa and, and Latin America and the Caribbean. There we have um, a lot of projects in Asia and in uh, uh, the Eastern Europe, Middle East part um, with fewer projects, but um, nonetheless, uh, really a very rich, uh, uh, a very rich um, pool of, of projects where now uh, expertise is going to be uh, generated over the next couple of years or uh, where already uh, quite significant things have been done uh, in the past. Now, <clears throat> The country projects, I don't think I need to talk so much about this because I believe this has been uh, discussed in detail through the case studies. Um, I'm focusing more a little bit on the uh, regional support and investment platforms. Um, really, the idea is to provide technical support through trainings and capacity buildings and to join this again with the uh, efforts uh, under Solutions Plus. Solutions Plus, the, the, the online modules, the on the e-learning programs, the living labs, all this um, uh, 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 all this uh, can can be continued also using this, the infrastructure of, of these platforms. And these platforms, they will be uh, there will there will be um, physical meetings about twice a year. Now, physical meetings right now, not not still not the the most common thing, but we hope to to have this over the next year and uh, then uh, these platforms they are uh, supposed to to be a permanent fixture and uh, sort of on the one side be that be that a place where all country projects in a certain region can meet can exchange uh, uh, best practices lessons learned but then on the other side where we actually actively want to facilitate the development of new projects by bringing together governments either from a national or, or city level uh, with uh, the EV e-mobility industry, but also with, with finance. Yeah, and uh, now we see more and more interest of uh, different types of finances, be this uh, uh, private investors or be that um, uh, multilateral development banks or be that um, organizations granting money. So I think we, we, we see a lot of progress and there are a lot of companies which now uh, uh, manage to actually uh, leverage quite a significant amount of funds from uh, from 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 uh, private uh, private investors. And this is, I think, very good science. Um, <clears throat> now, on the other side, as I just said, these global working groups, again, um, these should be a forum where um, for example, you want to advance the discussion about harmonization of standards. Yeah? Uh, so we have uh, quite a couple of different standards around the world uh, with regards to uh, vehicle charging, with regards to protocols for the communication between the charger and the battery or the vehicle itself. Now, um, we believe it, that there's really big benefit in, in trying to trying to streamlining this and trying to uh, 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 prevent having a scattered market and in, in, in many of these markets where we are actually active with our project it's not so easy to say okay which uh, which which uh, standard would you would you go for right now eh? because they uh, see vehicles coming from Japan but they see also vehicles coming from Europe um, so that's that's all not so not so easy and uh, it would be really um, really really good if in the future um, manufacturers could agree on uh, using using similar standards, similar technology for charging vehicles. And uh, we hope we can uh, advance this discussion through the global working groups. And again, uh, the, the industry partners in Solutions Plus, the project partners in the countries, they are all uh, very much invited to participate in these discussions and to, to bring forward this issue. Um, and as I just said, uh, development of all sorts of tools and knowledge products, and not only development, but also 
sort of compiling what is already uh, what is already available with the with the many partners we have. There are so many partners like like, like UITP, like uh, uh, other partners, ITDP, which have such a wealth of 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 of, uh, of uh, materials, and we hope that we can really compile a lot of these uh, products into one central space, which can then be searched and which can be easily uh, sort of categorized, and where people find actually what they what they want to learn about the electric mobility. This is this is this is this e-mobility toolbox, and I'm sure uh, it, has been, it has been mentioned uh, uh, during the meeting. And again, this is where we see or where we sort of live, great synergies uh, at this time. Um, basically, working on uh, populating such a toolbox, which uh, with tools and with uh, with with knowledge products, which uh, hopefully help other countries to advance e-mobility projects. Um, I think that's it in terms of overview. I'm happy to I'm happy to uh, uh, discuss this a little bit in more detail. Great, thank Thanks. you so much, Alex. Uh, it was I mean um, it was wonderful. And putting myself in the in the shoes of participants uh, because I don't see anybody asking a question, so I I volunteer <laughs> to ask a question. So um, because you mentioned that or it was an invitation at one point that people can come and join uh, or support the activities in the Jeff project. Say, for example, if I were an industry to and want to support the activities in the region, uh, what would be the process of that? And the same question applies for the working groups. So uh, mm -hmm. can the industries participate in the working groups? Yes. So we... Um... Want, this, want to set up these working groups on two levels, having a core working group and a wider working group. The core working group, we invite participants to join the wider working group. Uh, I believe the, the best uh, means would be, for example, to, uh, to, to, to send an email to myself. Um, uh, there's no email address on this slides, which is bad. But um, contacting UNAP, uh, reaching out to us, I think is is one uh, would be one uh, good option or uh, equivalently um, reaching out to yourself and then you you're just telling us about this interest um, when it comes to the chef countries so right now um, the chef project has about 29 country projects under this chef program eh? now for us it's always a bit important to make a little bit of a differentiation between what is our e electric mobility program, because there are more donors, it's not only Jeff, there is the EU, there is BMU, ICI, there are others. Um, but uh, uh, yes, the Jeff, uh, in terms of uh, volume, of course, has the biggest chunk because the projects are uh, uh, quite uh, quite sizable. Um, they are between half a million US dollars and about six million US dollars on a per country basis. Um, and uh, now, uh, 15 of these 29 country projects, I believe, they will start implementation of the projects in, let's say, end, by end of the year, beginning next year. Um, and uh, so, again, happy if, if 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 partners would learn would like to learn more, they should reach out to us. We can then think about um, uh, how 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 we can how or whether there is a possibility and how that possibility could look like to participate in a certain country project and then we also need to keep in mind that uh, now with the uh, eighth replenishment of the chef with the eighth, eighth replenishment cycle starting uh, next year there will be more um more chef e mobility projects coming under chef 8 and uh, yes the the discussions to develop these projects uh, that's actually happening right now Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I mean, if I may ask another question on along those lines, uh, say, for example, there is a country that is interested or planning to implement electric mobility, but it's not one of the Jeff countries. Mm -hmm. And uh, can they, in principle, be involved in the Jeff activities? Say there is no funding required from the Jeff, but uh, as an observer. Absolutely. I mean, these all these platform activities uh, for example they they are open to they are open to everybody i mean as long as countries cover let's say their own travel costs to come to a certain meeting there's a meeting there's no problem for the chef countries now these uh, the, there are budgets in their own country projects to participate for example in all these training events now this we can't offer because we don't have this budget but um there's there's no 
uh, there's no exclusivity in terms of uh, projects not participating just because they currently don't have a Jeff project. Hmm. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Once again, um, I'm just checking the chat if anybody has a question. But I don't think anybody has a question. It's very clear presentations from all of our team. Uh, so great. Uh, thank you once again for each and every one of you for participating despite the change in the part, uh, registration links. And yeah, as I was saying earlier that we have the entire session recorded and it will be available online and uh, we'll share the details of all the presenters in case if you want to uh, reach out to any of us uh, specific or I mean, uh, you have my email address, uh, those everyone who is registered, you can even write to me and I can forward your requests to the respective speaker. Thank you so much then and uh, it's almost the end of the week. So have a great weekend. <laughs>